we get you set for this game in the children and youth division. The first time ever that this division is on display here at the 2018 Canadian National Blind Hockey Tournament. It was a great day yesterday, and we're really excited for this one here today, as it should be a great game between Team Yellow and Team Black. Team Yellow scoring a 4-0 victory in their first exhibition yesterday. I'd expect Team Black to battle back here today as the players just get all set for this opening puck drop. We are going to play buzzer style hockey here, so it's just three minute shifts and then you'll hear the buzzer go. And essentially there are two um, levels here of the child and youth division. Right now we've got the youth on the ice, so they're a little bit bigger, a little bit older. And then after the three minutes, we'll have the buzzer and we'll get the kids on the ice. As we're underway here in the Child and Youth Division game at the 2018 Canadian National Blind Hockey Tournament streaming in thanks to CNIB and AMI. Greg brings the puck in for Team Black. They try feather that one towards the net as Anthony doing a nice job there. Timmy, who was playing in the last game in the Low Vision and Development Division, who had a big game there for Team Yellow. He's out there once again today for Team Yellow. In this one, he's wearing number four. As they battle for the puck, it comes out across the blue line and nice work there by Oliver, scooping that one up and shooting it back into the zone. Oliver keeps it in at the point. Tied up closely there is Joseph defending him well. And Team Yellow skated out here. Picked up now as Greg brings it back into the zone for Team Black. Checks his options, shields it from a couple of defenders, plays it back to the line as Brandon corrals it, makes the pass in but that gets picked off. Timmy has it now for Team Yellow. They try flip it out of the zone, held in at the point by Oliver. Good play there. Oliver feeds it over to Anthony. Anthony takes the shot. Great defensive back check by Timmy to get a stick on that shot. A minute 25 left in the shift as Team Yellow try dump the puck out of the zone. Oliver doing a great job to hold the point and keeps it in. Brandon goes just wide there. As we apologize if you're getting any cross wires here, you may be hearing some other programming from AMI at the moment. We apologize as we continue to get this child and youth game with Team Yellow bringing it in there. Joseph took the shot that just goes wide to the near post. 45 seconds left here in the first shift as we anticipate the kids coming out in a few seconds. Team Black send the puck up the ice just out of the reach. Well, now Brandon gets to it. A nice play by Brandon as he feeds it over to Greg. Greg has his shot blocked. Nice work by Nathan there on the back check for Team Yellow as he tries to dump it out. Curtis battling against Nathan. That's Curtis Ruddell, who's become a big Twitter star here as we've been getting a ton of shout outs for the Ruddell family, including Curtis, who's done a great job here today. Five seconds left in the shift. It's played around to the far side. Brandon gets to it for Team Black, but the buzzer sounds and that'll do it for the first shift for the youth as we get set to welcome the kids out onto the ice. Well, we've got Mary Ellen stepping in to take the draw here. And again, we apologize if you're experiencing any audio issues as we've got some programming playing in the background. We do apologize for the crossed wires, but hopefully it all gets sorted out as the kids get set to 
take the face off here. Off the draw, that's Little Mason, number 71, the youngest player out there, just four years old. And he picks up the puck here for Team Yellow. Mason does a great job to corral the puck from his backside and hey, they make a good pass as Logan feeds it forward. Nice defensive play there from the youngster for Team Black. That's Gabriel who got the puck up. And Aiden helping out as well. Aiden dumps it in as Team Yellow give chase. Logan first on it here for Team Yellow. Tries to pass it over to Mason. Mason checked closely as a good play there from Little Aiden keeping the puck in the zone for Team Black. Aiden digs it out of the group and it's on to the stick of Zach for Team Yellow. Zach just loses the handle on the puck and here goes Aiden for Team Black. Oh, nice back check. Great work there by Logan from Team Yellow to come up with that defensive play. Aiden takes it away. Aiden on the breakaway, takes the shot. Oh, what a save. And Aiden puts it in. Great goal there for number 87, Aiden of Team Black. And they go up 1-0 with a minute 30 left here in the kids' shift. Off the face off, Team Yellow as they trail this one, one nothing. Aiden with the big goal for Team Black. And we'll see if Team Yellow can equalize. 45 seconds remaining in the kids shift. Nice play there by Little Mason to keep the play alive as they battle for puck possession. Aiden nearly comes away with a breakaway chance as it just gets past Logan. Logan with a good back checking effort. Mary Ellen, great play there by Mary Ellen as she clears the zone. Younger sister of Alex Angus McKechn, and she's done great here so far. Shot right on, big save, oh, it just trickles through the legs of Justin Wack. And the referees are looking at this, no goal! Oh, right on the line. Wack gets just enough of that shot to keep it out. What a chance there for Team Yellow. The buzzer sounds, the kids will head off and we'll get the youth back on the ice here. As Logan had that brilliant chance for Team Yellow and he just got stopped by Justin Wack. So we get the youth back out on the ice here. one nothing the score in this game between Team Black and Team Yellow in the Child and Youth Division. as they get set for the face-off at center ice. You're tuned into the 2018 Canadian National Blind Hockey Tournament, brought to you in part by CNIB and AMI Accessible Media Inc. My name's Nico Cartarelli. You can tweet me at bro behind the mic. Let us know who you're cheering on, where you're watching from, and I'll get to a few viewer shout outs throughout this game. And hey, let's give a special shout out to the Washington Wheelers Twitter account who are uh, active and promoting everything this weekend. And of course, we wish them all the best next weekend in Chicago. We may not wish them all the best come October when it's Canada versus USA. But yeah, you know what? We'll wish them the best next weekend in Chicago at their big summit there. Well, underway here in the child and youth. It's one nothing right now for Team Black. Aiden has the lone goal in this game for Team Black. But Timmy makes a good defensive play there for Team Yellow. They battle for puck possession at center ice, out of the scrum, and it's Anthony for Team Black. He has it taken away. Nice work there by Timmy. But he can't gain the blue line as the teams continue to fight for possession. Tiago tried to feed it near side, and it'll be picked up 
by Team Yellow as they try dump it in. Timmy has it here for Yellow. Can't get it past Anthony on the first attempt. Now on the second try, Timmy does a good job to get the puck down. Inside the zone, Team Yellow have possession here. Cutting to the net, Nathan. There's the buzzer for the good pass. Plays it back to the line for Timmy. Timmy feeds it over near side, just out of the reach of Joseph. It's down behind the net where Ben corrals it for Team Yellow. Team Black come away with it here as it's Anthony with the puck on his stick. Taking it across the blue line. He's checked closely by Nathan. And now Curtis comes in and tries to sweep it out of the zone. Played to the near side boards. Foot race ensues and Team Black gets to that one first. Nice hustle by Anthony as he feeds it over to Greg. Greg chips it ahead to Oliver. Oliver just ran out of space as Timmy with the solid back check takes away that chance. 50 seconds remaining in this buzzer style shift for the youth as Timmy takes it over to the far corner. He's got Nathan in front, centers it. Nathan takes a couple of whacks and no, oh, it just doesn't slide in. What a chance for Nathan. So close, but it gets waved off as the referees blow it down. A big pad save from Justin Wack. 25 seconds left in the shift. Maybe time for one more chance here as they get set to take the face off to the right of the goaltender Wack. Off the draw, the puck comes back to the line where it's held in at the point by Joseph. He hammers it around the boards. 10 seconds left here in the shift before we get the young kids back out on the ice. Timmy takes it off the half wall, centers it in front for Nathan. Two seconds left in the shift. The buzzer sounds and that'll do it for the youth this time as they created some good chances, but Team Yellow trails one nothing midway through this child and youth division game. Well, let's give a shout out to Tina Butera who's enjoying the action. We'll also give a shout out to Elania, to Sean, and to Danielle. Thank you all for tweeting and tuning in for the 2018 Canadian National Blind Hockey Tournament. You can tweet me, Nico Cartarelli. My handle is at bro behind the mic. Let me know who you're cheering on, where you're tuned in from, and we'll get to a few more shout outs throughout this child and youth division game. Well, it's the goal scorer for Team Black, Aiden getting set to take the face off against Mason. As these two youngsters get ready to battle. Referees get him set for the face-off. And Mason wins the draw. Nice win there for Little Mason. As Team Black gain possession here, they bring it into the zone, but Mary Ellen first on it for Team Yellow. Mary Ellen, one of the flag bearers yesterday at the official opening ceremony. She's wearing number 97 today for Team Yellow. She makes that pass over to Nathan. Nathan with a good evasive move, gets around one defender, passes it near side, just out of the reach of Logan. But Logan does well to get over to that loose puck. Logan centering pass for Nathan. Nathan tries to sweep it towards the net, continues to battle for it, but Wack keeps the pad stacked against the post and a good save there from Justin Wack. Face-off comes out through the neutral zone here as it's Mary Ellen on the draw for Team Yellow. Good face-off there from both teams as Oliver was on the draw for Team Black. Actually, check that. That was Cassandra with the big face-off win for Team Black. Nathan picks it up now for Team Yellow, and his shot just goes wide of the near post. A great shot there for Nathan. That just missed the net.
A little Mason gets ready for the faceoff. He's like a pinball out there. He just bounces around and nothing keeps him down. As we've got a minute five remaining here in the child shift and even from his knees and on the ground, Mason still with a big smile on his face. You gotta love that. Nathan corrals it here for Team Yellow off the faceoff. Nathan plays it forward to Logan. Logan gives it right back to Nathan. His shot from distance turned away. Big paddle save, a rebound there. Logan digs away, but it stays out after Wack makes a couple of quality saves to keep this a 1-0 game. Twenty-five seconds left in the kids' shift here. Mary Ellen gets to that loose puck, shovels it in front. Nathan comes up with it, stick handles around one, tries to feed it back out front. Ten seconds remaining here in the shift. Mason and Nathan, good work. Mason gets it from Nathan. Mary Ellen takes the shot, and that's turned away as getting a stick on it was Tiago for Team Black. And with the buzzer sounding, that'll do it for the youngsters. So let's get the older kids back out on the ice. one nothing the score in this game in the child and youth division as the lone goal right now scored by Oliver for Team Black. I'll take this moment to thank the various sponsors who have made this great weekend possible, including AMI and CNIB. We couldn't do this event without their help. But of course, we also want to acknowledge Ryerson University, the Madame e Athletic Center, Toronto Education Workers, Manion Electra Health Floor, CCM, Letco Brousseau, McKenzie Investments, I Physicians and Surgeons of Ontario, the Toronto Toros, Lions International Club, First Line Promotional Wear, the Holiday Inn, and GTHL Canada. Thank you so much for your valuable support. The bigger kids back out on the ice, and here goes Team Black as Greg tries to feed it over near side to Brandon. Anthony takes it into the zone, drops it off to Greg. Greg tries to get it back to Anthony as he's defended closely by Curtis. Nice play there by Timmy to take the puck away from Anthony. Timmy brings it near side and he feeds that one up just out of the reach of Joseph. Timmy has it behind his own net, he's got options. Curtis wants the puck, feeds it just out of his reach and held in at the line by Brandon. Brandon feathers one towards the net. It goes behind the goal where Timmy picks it up with two minutes remaining in the kids' shift. Timmy plays that one forward as it was Nathan who comes up with it for Team Yellow. Nathan brings it all the way behind the net. Tries to center it out front, intended for Joseph, but that's broken up. Great work there by Oliver, who made the defensive play without a stick. Oliver, rewarded for his efforts, has the puck. He plays it over to the near side. Can't get it past Timmy as he holds the zone with a minute 25 left in the shift. Oliver backhands it to the far side boards. His teammate Anthony comes up with it, but a good back check by Nathan. Anthony fights through that. Great work by Anthony, and now Timmy comes up to back his defenseman up and get the puck out. Timmy gains the puck here for Team Yellow, brings it into the zone, stops on a dime, checks his passing options, tries to feather it back across, but that's broken up, and it's on the stick of Anthony for Team Black. 50 seconds remaining in the youth shift as Anthony brings it into the zone. Tries to stick handle around Timmy. Nothing new in that time. Oliver tries to get it back over to Anthony, but it's Timmy who comes in and intercepts that puck for Team Yellow. Timmy flips it over to the far side boards. 30 seconds remaining here in the shift as Timmy comes up with it for Team Yellow. Makes the pass to Nathan. Across center ice, he hits the blue line. 20 seconds left. Nathan gets it back to Timmy. Timmy shovels it right on goal, but a 
And it's in, it sneaks past the goaltender Wack, and Team Yellow have tied this one up as Timmy gets the equalizing goal with just seconds left in their shift. Big goal there for Timmy of Team Yellow, and we're all squared up at one. Well, some great passing up the ice by Nathan and Timmy as they connect for that big goal to tie this game all up at one. The children hit the ice once again as we get set for this next buzzer style shift. Little Mason taking up the right wing position. Mary Ellen gets set to take the draw against Cassandra. And it's Mary Ellen who wins the face off. Cassandra dumps the puck in. Nice job there by the team black forward. As she continues to battle for it. It's the goal scorer Aiden who plays the puck up the ice. Logan does a good job to get around one. Mary Ellen gets the pass from Logan. She gives it right back to him. Logan gets stood up there by Aiden. Mary Ellen providing some support. She keeps the play alive. Nice backhander there by Mary Ellen. But it's Aiden who picks it up for Team Black. Aiden dumps it in. He's got room to skate after it, so he gives chase. But Logan first back there for Team Yellow intercepts that. Logan plays it to the near side boards. As Zach comes up with it for Team Yellow. Just lost track of it and Cassandra steps in for Team Black and she gets it over to Aiden. Aiden gets around one player. He's got room to skate. Aiden in on the breakaway for Team Black. Takes it right in, shoots and he scores! Aiden gets his second goal of the game, and it's two to one for Team Black. Well, he's wearing number 87. You might think his favorite player is Sidney Crosby, but right now he's looking better than Crosby on the ice as little Aiden has two goals here for Team Black to put them in front, two to one. So Team Black regain the lead here as we've got a minute 30 remaining in the kids shift as Team Yellow bring it up the ice. Logan shoots and scores! Oh, what a beauty! Logan answers right back and we're all square again at 2-2. Team Yellow is second of the evening. Team Black goal is second. <laughs> Matt will help you out. He's wearing number two. A great job by Matt Morrow, who's wearing multiple hats here in this game. He's officiating. He's, of course, the executive director of the Canadian National Blind Hockey Association. He's even doing a little PA announcing there at ice level. A great job by Matt Morrow and all the coaches here in the child and youth division. As another shot from distance, and that gets turned away. Logan nearly got his second of the game after equalizing moments ago. Mason tries to feed it in front. Oh, he gets tackled there. Inadvertently, Tiago falls on him, and all the players pop back up as if nothing happened at all. And Team Yellow continue to dig away for it. 25 seconds left here in the shift, and then we'll get the older kids back out on the ice. Cassandra does a good job to get the puck out of the pack. She tries to feather it towards the net. What a back check by Mary Ellen to break up that play. Here goes Mason. He's got 10 seconds left in the shift. 
Little Mason takes it up the left wing, cuts towards the net, tries to let the shot go, it's blocked. Zach takes a shot and that one's also blocked. And then the buzzer sounds for the end of a great shift here for the youth kids as we're all tied up at two. Aiden with two goals for Team Black. Team Yellow goals courtesy of Logan and Timmy. Well, a reminder that you can connect with us throughout the weekend on social media. You can tweet me at bro behind the mic, just like Lauren Weber did. And of course, we wish Lauren all the best in his game this afternoon. He has played fantastic. He backstopped his team to a 2-1 victory this morning and a 3-2 victory in overtime yesterday. So Lauren and Team Blackwell look to close out the round robin with a 3-0 record as they get set to take on Team Gold at 3.10 p.m. today. A big shout out to Colorado Hockey as well for tweeting us and of course incredible work by the AMI social media team. They have been all over Twitter and Instagram. Great posts from AMI so you can connect with us all weekend long. We'll get to a few more viewer shout outs throughout the game. As Team Black have the puck at the point. Greg tries to feather the shot through. That's knocked down. And here goes Timmy for Team Yellow. Timmy brings it in here for Team Yellow. Takes it in tight. Nathan jams away at it. They try smack it home, but nothing doing that time. And a good save there by Justin Wack. Face-off coming up to the right of the goaltender, Wack. Nice win there by Nathan on the draw. Curtis tries to sweep it towards the net, but here comes Team Black as bringing it up the ice is Brandon. Brandon feeds it over to Anthony. That's broken up. Brandon takes it to the far corner. Tries to feed it back in front, but Timmy gets a stick on that, and here goes Timmy for Team Yellow. Timmy's got Nathan streaking up with him. We've got to make the pass. There's the pass to Nathan. Nathan shovels it right on. Big save by Justin Wack, and he'll hold that for a faceoff with a minute 30 left in the shift. Faceoff coming up to the right of goaltender Wack as Nathan wins the draw. They shovel it over. And Ben had that chance, but it's taken off his stick. And Curtis tries to dump it in deep. Nothing doing that time as Team Black dump it right back in the zone. Team Yellow first on it. Joseph has it behind his own net. Plays it to the far side boards where Brandon comes up with it. Timmy, nice pass to the near side wing. And there's room to skate for Nathan. Nathan, good back check by Greg as he tries to separate the man from the puck. Nathan feeds it across the mouth of goal, but no one there for Team Yellow to get a stick on it. Curtis makes the play as he feeds it down low behind the net. 25 seconds left in the shift. Nathan centers it out front for Ben. Ben takes the shot and Greg gets a skate on that. Curtis has it now for Team Yellow. 15 seconds left in the period. Or in the shift, I should say, as digging it off the wall, they continue to smack away for it and it just goes wide as Brandon comes in and clears the danger for Team Black. Brandon gets around Timmy, but the buzzer sounds and that'll do it for the shift for the older kids as the youngsters get set to rejoin the action here.
Well, a special shout out to Lauren Weber. Thank you so much for the tweet, Lauren. I really appreciate uh, the the uh, warm sentiments and, and the nice message. And I uh, look forward to catching up with you guys at the banquet tonight. So thank you so much for the tweet. And hey, good luck in your game this afternoon. And good luck in terms of the big announcement Sunday. We're pushing for you, buddy. A big shout out to Mike as well who tweets in. And again, you can connect with us on social media. My name is Nico Cardarelli. You can tweet me at bro behind the mic. Let me know where you're tuning in from and which players you're cheering on. And we'll get to a few viewer shout outs throughout the broadcast. As the youngsters back on the ice here, it's Little Mason taking the face off, wins it against Aiden. But Aiden, who's got both goals for Team Black, gets the puck right back. Nathan tries to dig it out of the pile. Gets it forward for Logan. Logan's first shot attempt gets blocked. Mason backing him up and while well, he tries to shovel it towards the net, it gets blocked there and Team Yellow regained possession. Nathan has it here for Team Yellow. Takes the shot, oh, what a goal! Beauty snipe from Nathan as he puts Team Yellow in front for the first time. They lead this game three to two. For Nathan, that's his second point of the game as he assisted on the goal from Timmy. And a big fist pump there by Nathan as it's a smile from ear to ear for that youngster scoring his first ever national blind hockey goal. What a big moment there for young Nathan. Off the ensuing face off and with a minute 50 remaining in the youngster shift. Aiden tries to clear the puck out of danger. Logan plays it over to Nathan. Nathan shoots it right off the post. What a chance there. He nearly had his second of the game. Nathan continues to dig away for it. Aiden in there for Team Black. Nathan kicks it forward. Mary Ellen and Cassandra in there battling as well. And it's Aiden who comes out of the pack with the puck. Aiden tries to get around Logan, shields it from the defender, but Logan takes it away from Aiden, and here goes Mary Ellen for Team Yellow. Mary Ellen makes the pass, and Josh ends up bumping into his own teammate. Play continues on as little Josh doing a good job out there for Team Yellow. Near side boards, Cassandra wins that battle. As she's checked closely by Nathan. 50 seconds remaining here in the shift. Mary Ellen digs it out, centers it in front, but it's on the stick of Aiden for Team Black. He plays it forward, tries to get around Logan. Aiden does so. Aiden's got Cassandra with him. He breaks in here. Aiden tries to shovel it right on goal, and a good back check by Nathan to break up that play. 30 seconds left here in the shift. Nathan takes it up the ice for Team Yellow. A couple defenders to beat. Nathan takes the shot, huge pad save there as Wack gets the right leg out to make that stop. Aiden, he has Cassandra streaking up the ice. He feeds her the puck, but Nathan just gets to it ahead of little Cassandra and Nathan takes the pressure away. Five seconds left here in the shift. Nathan tries to feed it over to Logan. Logan with the backhander. Good block there is dropping down and making that block was Dylan from Team Black. And the buzzer sounds, so we'll get the older kids back out on the ice. Well, a big shout out to Candice who says Aiden's family and his mother and the rest of the Hamilton Ambulance Dispatch are watching and cheering on. Go Team Black! And a big shout out to Aiden's family in Florida who are also watching. Mike, thank you so much for tweeting in. Again, you can connect with us on Twitter. My handle is at bro behind the mic. Let us know who you're cheering on, where you're watching from, and we'll get to a few more shout outs. Just like we shouted out Aiden's family in Florida and his mom with the Hamilton Ambulance Dispatch who are all watching and cheering on Team Black. Well, two goals for Aiden, and he's out there again right now as the youngster gets a shift with the big kids. Let's see what he can do. Aiden makes a great play, smacking it up the ice, and now Zach has it for Team Yellow. 
Curtis brings it into the zone. He has his pocket picked, and here goes Brandon for Team Black. Brandon, he's got Anthony heading to the net. Makes the pass, but Timmy back check well and tied up his stick just enough to take away any shooting chance. Timmy defending there against Anthony. Aiden tries to keep it in, but a good job by Curtis to clear the zone. Dumped back in inside yellow territory. First on it there for Team Yellow was Joseph. He smacks it all the way down the ice where Aiden picks it up inside his own blue line. Backhanded that time by Oliver. And they can't clear the zone as Timmy holds the line. Oliver takes it all the way behind his net. He'll skate it over to the near side and sweep it back out just out of the reach of Aiden, but it ends up on the stick of Brandon. Nice work by Timmy as he breaks up that potential two on one. Teams battling for possession at center ice as Curtis whacks away at it, but then Brandon fires it into the zone with a minute 30 remaining here in the shift. Timmy has it for Team Yellow. Gets around one defender and he's got room to skate. Timmy brings it up the ice here. He's got Curtis with him. Timmy drops it off to Curtis. Curtis who tries to get into the high slot for a shooting area has his pocket picked. And here goes Brandon for Team Black. Brandon feeds it up to Anthony. Anthony breaking in here. Takes the shot right on in a great save by Blaine Ducher to keep that one out as Team Yellow bring it back up the ice, led by Timmy. Under a minute remaining in the shift, Timmy takes the puck into the zone, drops it off. As the shot attempt from Zach gets knocked down and then cleared down the ice by Brandon. Joseph gets to that first, backhands it through center ice. As Curtis comes up with it for Team Yellow, great pass over to the stick of Zach. Zach tries to get around Aiden. Nice defensive work by the younger Aiden and he keeps him pinned in the corner. There's a sharp angle shot right on and Wack makes a good save as that one came off the stick of Zach. And with 15 seconds left, the goal mouth scramble sees Team Yellow come out with the puck. Shoveled towards the net, the first shot attempt is blocked as it came off the stick of Joseph. And here comes Brandon for Team Black. Just three seconds left in the shift. Anthony won't have enough time and Thanks to some good back checking there from Team Yellow, that takes away any chance that Team Black may have had. Face off to come outside the Team Yellow blue line as they shrink the rink size here. They'll move the one net to the opposition blue line. And we'll get set for the kids shift. You're tuned into the 2018 Canadian National Blind Hockey Tournament presented by CNIB and AMI. Of course, we're streaming at blindicehockey.ca. And we appreciate the great work of everyone behind the scenes who have made this weekend and this broadcast possible. As Nathan brings it in off the faceoff for Team Yellow. Geez, he's going to be gassed here. He's getting double shifted. Playing with the big kids and the little kids as Logan brings it in. His shot goes just wide. Nathan picks it up for Team Yellow. Tries to center it in front for Mary, for Mary Ellen, but that's broken up by Oliver. Plays it back to the defenseman Logan, who under pressure from Oliver. And now Oliver strips him of the puck. Nice play there by little Oliver. Oliver breaking in, takes it behind the net. Checks his options as he is Cassandra in front. Oliver still corrals it. Oh, and Cassandra just lost her footing as the puck was coming to her. Tough break there for Team Black. 
Team Yellow's Logan shoots it down the ice just out of the reach of Josh. But on to the stick of Tiago for Team Black. And here goes Oliver. Oliver gets around the defenseman. He cuts in tight to the net. Oliver takes the shot. Oh, what a save by Ducher. Second chance for Cassandra, and that gets turned away. A couple of huge chances there for Team Black, but Blaine Ducher coming up with a few, a few big saves there to keep his team in front by one with a minute 35 remaining in this shift. Logan picks up the puck for Team Yellow. They can't clear the zone on the first attempt. Logan gets back to it as he hustles hard and Mary Ellen backing him up does a good job to clear the zone. Oliver brings it right back in as he's got some room to break in here off the half wall. Oliver cuts in, goes to the back end. Oh, what a beauty! Oliver with a highlight real goal and we're all tied up at three. That's gotta be a contender for goal of the tournament as young Oliver cuts in off the half wall, goes to the backhand and scores an absolute beauty. And Oliver with the stick raised high at center ice salutes the crowd. A special moment there for that young man, his first career blind hockey goal. So Team Black tie this one up. It's 3-3, 25 seconds remaining here in the shift. As Nathan tries to cut into the net, brings it in tight. Good stand up defensive work there by Dylan. Takes away any chance for Team Yellow. Just 10 seconds left here in the shift. Shot from distance, gets knocked down by Tiago. Second chance, what a save by Justin Wack as he gets the pad down and robs Nathan of a great scoring chance. The older kids get back out here on the ice and they get set for their three minute buzzer shift. As Curtis gets set to take the draw for Team Yellow. And I believe that's Anthony in there for Team Black. Yes, it is. Anthony wins the faceoff, gets it past Zach and into the zone, but Timmy right there takes the puck away from Anthony. And man, have I really been impressed with the play of little Timmy. He played in the low vision and development division game before this, and right now he's tearing it up here in the child and youth division. Timmy takes it from behind his own goal, feathers it out front. Nice pass as he gets that right to the stick of Zach. Zach under pressure from Aiden. Great play by Aiden as he breaks that up. Hits the ice hard, but he pops right back up. Shot from distance. Good save from Wack as he had the paddle down ready for that chance. They dig it out as whacking away right on the doorstep is Curtis, but another huge save from Justin Wack. And this game remains tied with 2.05 remaining in the shift. Ben and Zach both had a couple of great chances there for Team Yellow along with Curtis, but Justin Wack makes a huge save and keeps this tied at three. Curtis gets the puck off the faceoff, tries to stick handle around a couple of players, takes it into the far corner where he's met by the check of Anthony. Anthony can't clear the zone, Ben tries. And on a second effort, Anthony gets it across the blue line. Timmy, nice stick handling from Timmy as he brings the puck to the blue line, but not into the zone. Dumps it in and now Team Black will get to that first as Brandon there rims it around the near boards, but not out. Timmy battling there against Anthony. Anthony comes away with the puck as he'll 
Try feed it around the far side, but with two players all over his back, Timmy takes the puck away from him. Centers it out front, just out of the reach of Zach, who is sitting in the high slot, but couldn't quite get a stick on the puck. Puck gets dumped in, Curtis gives chase. He's got it behind the net here for Team Yellow. 45 seconds left in the shift as Anthony strips him of the puck. Anthony plays it up, intended for Brandon, but Timmy gets to that first. And with 30 seconds left here in the shift, Timmy will start the breakout for Team Yellow with a good tape-to-tape -tape pass. They smack it in as Joseph, after receiving the pass, dumps it in deep. Dug out front, Team Black need to clear the pressure as Rory doing a good job there defensively for Team Black. And now Brandon picks it up across center ice. Five seconds left in the shift, and then we'll get the old, uh, younger kids back on the ice. As the buzzer sounds, we're all still squared at three goals apiece here in this child and youth division game at the 2018 Canadian National Blind Hockey Tournament. Well, the youngsters are back out there, and number 87 for Team Black, Aiden, already has two goals in this game. With this all deadlocked at three, we'll see if he can make a difference. Or will it be one of the unsung heroes like Mason for Team Yellow? Little Mason wins the faceoff. Look at him go. He's just plowing through everybody as he tries to take the puck up the ice. Josh in there as well alongside Nathan. And out of the pack comes Oliver with the puck. Oliver got the goal to tie this one up at three for Team Black. It was a beautiful goal by Oliver as well as Nathan brings that puck in the zone. All the way behind the goal where it flips over to the near side. They battle for it. Mary Ellen in there for Team Yellow. That's Mason who has the puck for Team Yellow and then it's taken away from him. Cassandra battling against Mary Ellen. Puck comes out of the pack and it's back to Logan for Team Yellow. He tries to feed a backhander in on goal. That gets knocked down. As Tiago battling on the defensive end for Team Black. They come away with the puck. Oliver brings it into the zone. Can't get around the defender. Nice work there by Logan. And here goes Logan for Team Yellow. Logan brings it up the ice, takes the shot, and that just goes wide to the near post with a minute 40 remaining in the shift. Cassandra on the draw for Team Black. She wins that one against Mary Ellen. Battle for the puck along the near side, and it's Oliver who flips it into the Team Yellow zone. Mary Ellen digs it out, makes the pass over to Nathan. Nathan shields it from the check of Aiden. Nathan lets the shot fly, and it just goes wide to the far post with three Team Black players crashing down. Less than a minute remaining in the shift here for the youngsters as... We get near to the end of this child and youth division game. We remind you that if you're in the area, come on out to the Madame Athletic Center because at 2 p.m., 
CNIB will be hosting their 100th anniversary free skate. So anybody can come out on the ice here at the former Maple Leaf Gardens and take to the ice for a free skate provided by CNIB. Open division action gets back underway at 3.10 p.m. when Team Black takes on Team Gold. At 4.25, Team Yellow plays Team Red. And then we wrap up day two action at 5.40 p.m. with the low vision and development division game. 10 seconds left here in the shift. Cassandra has it for Team Black behind the net. Feathers it out to the far side hash marks for Aiden. Aiden gets it back to Cassandra. And with the buzzer sounding, that does it for the shift. And we get the big kids back out on the ice here. Well, and maybe not. We'll have to see what's happening here. We'll get the official announcement from Matt Morrow. Away from the round of applause for all our youth and hockey players. Does anybody think a game this good should end in a tie? We have the first shootout for the Canadian Hey, here we go. We've been waiting for this. All right, folks, a little bit of history here. As we're going to have the first ever shootout in Canadian blind hockey history. This is quite a moment here, as Team Yellow will shoot first. It's going to be Zach getting set to take the shootout attempt here for Team Yellow. And here we go, the first ever shootout in blind hockey history. Zach takes the puck in. Whack the goaltender. Zach hits the top of the circles. Brings it to the hash marks, stick handles, lets the shot fly, and he scores! Oh! What a beauty goal by Zach as Team Yellow take a 1-0 lead in the shootout. We've got a goal from one Newfoundlander. Now we got another Newfoundlander coming up. we got Brandon Joy from the Newfoundland Islanders. So a couple Newfoundland representatives here is Brandon, who plays with the Newfoundland Islanders, gets set to take the shootout attempt for Team Black. He's got good speed, bringing it in, hits the hash marks, goes to the forehand, oh, and just sweeps it wide. Great opportunity for Zach. Or check that for Brandon, excuse me, but a big smile on his face. He doesn't care that he missed that shot. It was a tremendous effort there. Again, folks, we apologize if you're getting any feedback from another feed here, as there may be some crossed audio wires. But we've got a shootout here. As bringing the puck in is Joseph. Joseph goes to the forehand, lets the shot fly. Big save there by Wack. The next shooter for Team Black is Aiden. He's got two goals in this game already. And he'll take the shootout attempt here for Team Black. Brings it in, top of the circles. Aiden hits the hash marks. He's got it on his forehand, cuts in. Oh, what a beauty! Aiden snipes it home. And Team Black capitalize in the shootout. Folks, again, we apologize for the technical difficulties we're experiencing. You may be hearing a mixed audio feed, and we do apologize for that. 
as there seem to be some cross wires here at the Matami Athletic Centre, but it's Team Yellow on the shootout as Curtis brings it in. Curtis takes it to the net, shoots, oh, what a save there from Justin Wack as Curtis got robbed on the doorstep. gets set to take the face off here, or the shootout attempt for Team Black as Oliver brings it in here in the shootout. Oliver to the forehand, takes the shot. Oh, what a save by Ducher as Oliver was trying to snipe the top corner. Folks, again, we apologize for the technical difficulties we are experiencing right now. You may hear a bit of a talk show going on in the background, and we apologize for those mixed wires. Nathan on the shootout here for Team Yellow. He hits the hash marks. Nathan brings it all the way in, shoots. Oh, what a blocker save as Wack gets a piece of that shot. Team Black with another shootout attempt as Anthony brings it in. He had a great game, great shootout attempt, and he sneaks it past the goaltender. Anthony scores, and he secures the victory for Team Black in the first ever Canadian blind hockey shootout. The final score, Team Black win it in a shootout, 5-4 to four over Team Yellow. Well, I'm going to sign off because I can barely even hear myself, but it's been a great game here in the Child and Youth Division, and Team Black score a 5-4 shootout victory. Folks, we're going to step away for about an hour, and we'll be back at 3.10 p.m. for the Open Division game between Team Black and Team Gold. I'm Nico Cartarelli signing off for now as you've been watching the 2018 Canadian National Blind Hockey Tournament presented by CNIB and AMI. Thanks for tuning in. We'll be back at 310 for the Open Division. <laughs>